going on here. We're tired of the nonsense and the violence and just people being killed. Taking to the streets, a caravan of cars rallying Chicago residents to say enough is enough and stop the incessant violence. Activists and people who lost loved ones to gun violence are teaming up to get the word out. WGN's Brona Tomalti is here with the story. Brona. Good evening, guys. Families across Chicago are all too familiar with the knock at the door or the phone call that no one wants to get. Hundreds were murdered in the city again last year, and today people from all different backgrounds came together again, a show of unity for peace and a plea for the violence to finally stop. The system has failed us. Elizabeth Ramirez stood today in Palmer Square clutching a picture of her son, Harry David Rodriguez Jr. It's a picture she's held on to for over 10 years because old photos are all she has left of him ever since October 23rd, 2011. October 23rd, as he was celebrating his birthday, someone came through the back with a mask, started shooting, not directly at him, but started shooting and my son gave his life for his cousin's life and her child's life. It's an anguish mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, families all across Chicago have felt for decades. My daughter should have been here right now with me. And the pain just keeps coming. This is not normal. Gun violence is not normal and we should not take it as being normal. Amen. It's preventable. Amen. It's preventable. Chicago Police data shows almost 800 people were murdered in the city last year. That doesn't include additional deaths handled by other agencies. For example, expressway shootings which are under the jurisdiction of state police. It takes unity to do something about what's happening in our city. These parents among the participants in a Unity Rally Sunday, organized by 911 dispatcher Keith Thornton Jr. We're tired of everything that's going on here. We're tired of the nonsense and the violence and just people being killed. He was the calm voice on the line amid the chaos on the night Officer Ella French was murdered. <laughs> After speaking out here, folks got in their cars, traveling around the city, an effort to raise awareness about the lives being needlessly lost. Just like uh, crime is unplanned, we're going to be unplanned as well. So there's no specific route. The route's going to be wherever God leads us. We're going to end this out at Unity Park, and it's uh, just going to be a quick prayer. A prayer and a hope that you can continue taking new pictures with your loved ones for years to come. It's been 10 years. 10 years that we are still fighting for justice for my son and not only for justice for my son we're fighting also for peace because we also have to think about the other children that are still here with us that deserve to live in a better city better community according to cpd in the first week of 2022 there were 11 murders which was nothing to celebrate it actually is down from 21 during the same period last year shooting incidents in the first week of this year are also down from 61 to 48 those numbers are updated on mondays so we should learn tomorrow how things looked in week two back to you guys